What wonderful words of the gospel we have heard already through the special music, through the children sharing their song with us. Thank you so much. Um, hard acts to follow. But it's good to be here with you to share in worship today. Um, as I was reading through the scripture and I landed on the first reading for today, my thoughts turned to a little book that was on my shelf in my parish office, in my um, study. Um, those books in retirement are either in storage or have found new homes. The one that I thought of, though I'm not sure what category it falls into, it's called All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten by Robert Fulgham. I looked went online, you can find anything. I looked for a simple list of, of those things learned. And they include share everything, play fair, say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. Play and work some every day. Be aware of wonder. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. And take a nap every afternoon. We hear of Elijah, who has been working hard. He's just shown the power of God defeating the prophets of Baal. But when the king sends a messenger and threatens his life, he flees and then asks to die. He feels alone, no one to hold his hand, feels threatened. It seems he's forgotten that victory over those prophets seems to have forgotten whose victory it was. He feels alone, shut off from God, doesn't remember that God is watching over him. But God hasn't forgotten Elijah, hasn't abandoned him, hasn't turned away. So God sends a messenger an angel to minister to Elijah, who is taking a nap, feeds him, gives him water. And then after another nap, the messenger brings a message from God of where to go to meet God. And there, Elijah will, be, will meet God in sheer stillness. But first, Elijah must rest, must be refreshed. And so the, messenger of the message of the angel, get up and eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. God cares for Elijah in a meal, a nap, a message, strengthening and encouraging him, feeding him, reminding him he is not alone. God holds him in the palm of his hand. There are probably times in our lives when it seems that God is distant. The problems of the world seem so big and we feel so small. And yet God is here. God comes. Not always in ways that we expect not always when we want, but always God comes. God is with us. 
in Jesus who came to be bread from heaven, who feeds us with himself and shows us how to live, to be kind, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, sharing God's love with others. God is with us. God is here. God with us. Sent in the fullness of time, the Son of God, living bread from heaven, Jesus Christ our Lord. So we have strength for the journey each day as we live together and live in God's grace. Amen. <laughs>